Rick's List, CNN weekday afternoons, 3 Eastern. This is a very big moment, the single biggest moment in the life of this well since they got the cap on and got the cap to work. Right now, they are in the process of killing this well. And think about it like this, if you may, that once they got that cap on, that this well was, in a sense, in a cage. They had it corralled. They had it under control. But it was still alive, still trying to push out. And now, with this static kill, they're drowning it with mud, pushing this oil back down into the hole that it crawled out of and started this disaster. So once they're done with this, that oil is not going to be a threat. It's going to be completely under control and a disaster over. It's only going to be a matter of dotting the I's and crossing the T's when they finally finish up with the cementing with that relief well. It's going to come about a week from now. But again, this is one of the single biggest moments in the life cycle of that mm. well. It is almost over. What is the risk involved, David? Well, there are risks involved in this because they're putting in this heavy liquid and they've never been able to look at this well with a pair of x-ray eyes to know exactly what they're dealing with. They know that the, there was a terrible explosion that started this disaster. They never really knew exactly what happened to that well underneath the ground where they couldn't see what happened to it in that explosion. So this procedure, the static kill at the very best will be able to tell them exactly what they're dealing with down there, if there are any problems with the well, if any seals have been broken, if there are anything like that that might cause problems for them when they finally try the bottom kill with the cement. So at the very least here, this is a great learning experience. They're at last going to be able to know foot by foot how this uh, uh, well is doing and what kind of integrity that they're working with. That word integrity is something they've been talking about for a long time. And the fact that they're, we're going to this procedure now so quickly after that test tells us that they got a lot of good data back from that test. Mm. It was supposed to last a couple of hours and then a couple of hours to go over what they found and then they go into it, but boom, two hours later, here we go, are going right into the static kill. So that in For itself was probably good news. Uh this entire procedure is just augmenting what they plan to do. And if the static kill is successful, the well will be killed and that they will just be finishing it off, putting a permanent barrier in there when they go in with the relief well and fill it up. But if this doesn't work, if they find a problem while they're doing this, then that will give them more ammunition and give them a better knowledge of how this well will respond when they finally do intersect it uh, a week from now with that relief well. So everything they're learning is going to help. But the best case scenario here is that mud will continue to push that oil down and push it all the way back down into the reservoir where it originally erupted out of. That's the best case scenario. And the fact that we jump from the test right into the, the, uh, the static kill so quickly would suggest that they got a lot of good readings back and that they're very confident with taking this next big step forward.